Alright, hey everybody, and welcome back. My name is Sue, and I'm from OML Embroidery, and over there is Don, my husband. Hello. Hello, he hello. says. Well, hello. Oh, really? He's been up since 5 o'clock this morning. We had a lot of rain, and my office flooded. So thanks, Don, for saving the day, because, wow. Yet my whole, my whole office, so... I can give Don a, not a slow applause, but I'm tired and stressed now. <laughs> Everything's okay. Um, it's a partial basement that my office is in, and I know about basements, so everything is up. So no computers or machines or electronics got damaged. It's just a bit of a mess. So I wanted to show you guys the progress on my gorgeous Anita Good design. This is... Uh, creative camo I think it's called it's in this month and I love it so I did the grays and blacks on the outside and then this gorgeous butterfly on the inside you can see obviously that I'm not done I still have to bind it and back it uh, but this is the 8x8 squares and I I love it I had so much fun watching it stitch out and the colors on the colored one the butterfly are so vibrant it's just beautiful i still think this one is probably my favorite but you know i like them all so that's just my progress now today oh, hold on but okay today we are going to be making a monster now while this guy is easy to do and he's he's kind of a little bit sh not short but shorter to to stitch him out there's a couple tips and tricks that you can learn and then i think we should make more monsters um because we could probably do two or three different ones in a class i just think it'd be really fun something different and uh it'll show you how to make stuffies so i am going to use fleece and I bought this as a remnant and it was a roll of it and I think it costs um, five dollars for it so um, you could also another idea that I had I just actually couldn't find it but <laughs> go to the dollar store and they have little blankets and actually there's quite a bit of um, fleece in it and you could just cut that up so old tops anything that has fleece and actually you don't have to use fleece you could use flannel you could just use cotton as well so the first trick is that the stretch so look that one's not so stretchy it's always hard to show not so stretchy but look at the stretch this way now that's stretchy so we want the stretch to go up and down on this. So make sure when you're cutting or placing that the stress, the stretch <laughs> is along here. So, and you need two pieces of it. So, and, you know, it's uh, small enough. You could also use felt too. I'm gonna use my nice felt for the eyes and the mouth. And I picked neon colors for the eyes and teeth he may or may not have green teeth i just thought it would be kind of uh um green teeth groovy yeah someone said they used the chamois cloth in the dollar tree yeah lots of ideas and i think um you know it's kind of a scrappy thing as well you don't need huge pieces of it and yes don saved the office Yes, yes, Don saved the office. Yeah. I am happy. I know I don't maybe sound that happy, but it's all a little bit to get over sort of thing. It was just kind of scary. What were you saying there, Don? I don't know. I don't know. Don's, Don's a little bit tired. I'm on my third coffee. Though. He's on his third coffee. The girls went out and got him a coffee and breakfast. So, did anyone hear that Craftsy is coming back? I received an email from the company that is taking over. Yeah, they're actually going to call it Craftsy, and that's where all the classes and everything are, are going to be located. My question is, are they going to do the fabric? Because that's my... Th I do love the classes. I have to learn how to do sewing and quilting because 
um, there's no point doing a gorgeous embroidery design and messing up on the the binding that makes it look so pretty. So I'm learning to, I always, um, I always learn, um, make a whole bucket of monsters and have a monster fight, like a snowball fight. Yep, that'll work. You could make them, put a squeaker in them and make them for uh, toys for your dog. Uh, and we could do some cute little bone ones and different things like that. I just thought it would be really fun to do this. And I'm always looking for something different. So this design is from Embroidery Garden, which has actually the snowballs, which are really cute. Lots of de designs there. And I think it's, um, I think it's fun. I think that's, and it's also something that we haven't done before. So the first trick is to make sure your fabric is placed properly. So for this one, I'm using tearaway. Can you hear the tearaway? It's very teary away. My dog would have it in shreds in no time. Well, that's true. That's true. I'm not going to let the dogs get it. <laughs> My dogs would have it. I, they'd fight over it. Maybe Odie, the little wiener dog that we have, wouldn't do so badly. But, but you can use prints. I was going to use bright polka dots. I considered some, you know, cotton fabric, and I looked at, um, like, fancy kind of faux leather fabric. The one I used on, I believe, a bookmark, and it was fuzzy, but I thought, okay, I'll just stick to the rules here and uh, do um, fleece, because why not? I had some, and it's pink, and I love it. So hopefully you guys are ready to get started. The first thing is you're going to put, making sure the stretch is going this way, up and down the hoop. You're going to put the 7x9 piece of fleece on it. And I have sprayed it down a little bit because there's no tacking stitch on this one. It should be fine. I'm not worried. But there's no tacking stitch. Like there's no placement and there's no you know, tack it down. The only thing that's going to hold it down is when we put the other piece over top. So, um, spray it down. You could put a little tape. You could just lay it down. You do have to be careful when you're working with tear away that you don't tear it away. So you can't do all those things because it might, uh, put too much of a strain on the tear away. So we're going to do it like this and we're going to be safe. So tear away any kind that you have, fleece or fabric. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Some goofy threads that I'm using um, because I think they're awesome. And uh, let's uh, go. Are you, Did what? you show your nails yet? My nails. All right. Well, I had a little bit of trouble with my nails, but they are really cool. It's called um, 9D Cat Eye. And when I'm at the machine, you'll be able to see it better. But there's all sorts of different colors and they show up and kind of go away with the movement. And it shows up good there. It shows up really well, doesn't it? I c it's hard on my iPad. So it's a lot of fun and you can do a lot of different designs. I think my favorite is this bright green, although the pink is cool. And this one has blue and this one is green and pink. So the galaxy nails is what I'm going to be going for. So yeah, I'm going to play around with that. It's a new product for me. I'm going to play around with it and get it really cool. Really cool. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. You'll love this. Hold on. Don, you can talk. I think it's right here. Talk. What okay. are we doing? What are you getting? My, my thing. So I also got a new toy from Michaels that I wanted to show you guys. I moved some things around in my office and I wanted to relabel everything because I try to keep things neat. Thank goodness I don't put stuff on the floor. Um, and I got, it's called a Brother P-Touch Embellisher. And this is what this guy looks like. So P-Touch Embellish. And I just got it from Michaels. And what it does is you can print labels and they're not just plain labels. They're, they're designs and they're gorgeous. There's fonts, there's frames, there's a hundred symbols, there's patterns. 
The coolest thing that it does is look at this. I don't know how well you guys can see that. If you it's tilt it towards yourself a little bit more, right there. It's it better. ribbon. It's beautiful ribbon with gold writing. And all of that came with this machine. So it's a cartridge. You can get different color. You know, it's silk, a silk ribbon. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. You can get navy blue with gold. You can get, I think, black with gold. How much fun is that? So if you were doing a, like a shirt, you embroidered a shirt as a gift, you could fold it up and then wrap it, wrap with it around a with personalized that. Personalized ribbon. Yeah. Um, I was thinking to add uh, a bit of um, wow factor if you're gifting a mug rug or even if you're making like a bookmark this tying it together would be awesome can you imagine seeing that uh, you know as a present isn't that it's stunning i think it's probably much much better in person it looks a hundred percent professional and i was really surprised the lettering is perfect now this one i don't have any of the frames and the symbols but there's hundreds of things you could sit and go through it all day the nice part you could see a little preview um, if you want to use a different one you just take the cartridge out that has it all rolled up and change it to another one but I just thought this was um, a really cool this is a toy <laughs> not really but this is a toy they happen to have a whole bunch of stuff on sale for the ribbon and you get a fair amount of ribbon and I'm just thinking that is um, you know, the final touch for gifting and making stuff look great. Don, can you take this by any chance? Uh, yeah. I, I think it's really cool. I'll be featuring them in pictures of stuff that I take uh, because I think they're really cool and you might be able to see them better. So really, really cool stuff just to kick it up a notch. I'm always looking for stuff like that. And uh, I found it. So um you can write anything on it as well so i'm thinking if you do a bookmark you can put you know i love you dad or i love you mom and i think that would be um fantastic everyone will wonder how you do it so we are ready to begin yes it's brother it's a brother p touch embellish um and like i said everything was on sale at michael's canada of course um, and I just thought it was a great deal. Most of the cartridges, either ribbon or the print, and you can stick it like a label, same size as the ribbon, um, were 50% off. So I grabbed a whole bunch of them. So I will be labeling and ribboning everything. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay, so... We're ready. I have my fabric set properly. I have my very loud tear away. And uh, I think we're ready to go to the machine, Don. Dreamy's up. No, no, it's not. Uh, your dreamy's up. Okay. <laughs> no technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> it's been a long day, Don. <laughs> It's been a long day, so I'm going to take my edit off. So the first thing is it's going to outline the eyeballs, and we're going to do an applique, and then we're going to play around with colors. So let's get this guy going. I have black loaded in right now so you guys can see it better. So this is just a simple placement line of the eyeballs. Oh, you can't see anything because my fleece is kind of thick. Well, la-di-da. It should show up on my uh, fabric, or my uh, felt. Oh, this guy is going to be a little bit bigger than I thought. So he's on a, a 5 by 7 hoop. Sorry, I just heard McDreamy make a noise, so I was kind of listening to what that noise was. But it's okay. No, he kept stitching. And now he pulled the thread out, so... We're going to fix that. That's okay. We're going to fix it. I saw it happening. There we go. Oh, I have to put the foot up. And now it's easy to pull. So, we'll just do this 
one more time and see. McDreamy, I've been using him a fair amount and he hasn't had too many of these problems, so. Thank you for the Superman sticker, Karina. Superman sticker? Uh, we, we missed it earlier. Oh, yeah. That's you. You're staring at the... Well, my Tyler's not working. Oh, well. It's, it's acting up. I, I'm kind of glad that we're working, so. <laughs> we are working. So, nice. Just a quick placement. I know it's probably a little hard for you guys to see. I guess you can see the indentations. This is gorgeous fleece. So now what we're going to do is put, I have felt. And, you know, you can use wonky colors, little scraps. I have a bigger piece. It's just what happened to be there. I am not going to be playing uh, applique chicken, so I'm going to check everything carefully. It's just not uh, the time to play chicken. <laughs> I would lose, so I'm just going to bow out. There we go. We should be good. No chicken today. And what's in my bobbin? I changed it before we started, so I have a, a full bobbin. Uh, now you can see the stitches. It's a nice back stitch to hold everything down. Very nice. So one eyeball. This is so cute. I like this guy. And like I said, feel free to use little scrappy bits. You can use the fleece for the background. And then you could use fabric for the eyeballs. There's no reason why you can't do that in bright colors. Anything goes on this, but I think we're going to have fun making them. Dog toys and cat toys. I am particularly fond of monsters because I really think they are super fun to create because you can do eyeballs, you can do, um, you know, five eyeballs, you can do two mouths, you, anything goes. So it's, it's definitely an ish kind of thing to do. Anything goes. And uh, those are the kind of things that I really like. So that's twice done. It doesn't like the fleece. Now, you know, McDreamy's not that picky. <laughs> You're making excuses. I am. Thank you, Alicia. Alicia. Oh, thank you very much, Alicia. Every bit helps. We appreciate it. So there we go. That was easy enough. And the mouth, I'm going to use the white for the mouth as well. I think that's groovy. I think he's cool. So the next step is some decorative outside stitches. So we are going to have to trim this or else we'll have a mess. So Dawn, back to the desk. Desk is up. Right. So this is basically a raw edge applique on this so we do want to be a little bit careful so I'm just gonna take my time we've had quite the day so I'm just gonna take my time you don't have to worry about how your duck build scissors are working how they're sitting because it's not gonna get caught in anything so I guess depending on what you use I had thoughts for a moment of using the warm and natural batting um, for this instead of fleece, um, but I didn't for two reasons. The first one is the monster would be naked and we just can't have that. Um, this would might get demonetized or something for nudity and uh, it's not thick enough. But I, I thought of it because I thought, oh, I'm always trying to you know think outside the box because that's kind of gal I am but no naked monsters so no the, naked the Norseman says do baby gremlin well this kind of is a gremlin it's got three eyes to watch uh, the Norseman because he he gets he gets around with stuff I think the Norseman causes the gremlins <laughs> that's what I think I think he causes he them. So this is a, a Norseman watcher. So we should probably give him a Viking name. You know how I like to name everything. So we could do that. Now I'm just taking my time. I don't think you can get it much closer than that. 
And remember, because we're using tearaway and it's a little more delicate than the cutaway, you just don't want to be pulling too much on anything. We don't want it to move. We don't want anything to be out of place. So I am just, you know, gently doing it. Just very gently. And uh, so far so good. I don't think we've had any movement. That is not a bad job at all. We're looking good. Uh, I see. That's the loopy problems. Can you see that, Don? The yep. Yeah. All right. So it's always good to look at the back. Can you guys see that? That's why he's um, throwing the threads out. Okay, back to McDreamy, and we're going to keep doing uh, the monster. Thank you, Ronag. Much appreciated. So we should say, too, while we're working on this, uh, welcome to all the new people. Make sure you pick up this free design from Embroidery Garden. It's a great site. I have a lot of fun there. The snowballs are the best of the best. Um, and to all our regulars, you guys rock. And, of course, our uh, moderators, um, while the cleanup was going on, our moderators were posting links and doing all this kind of stuff. And Don was so relieved that he could just move on to the next thing to it's quite a bit to set up to do a show. So we appreciate that so much. So now we're going to outline it. I'm going to leave it in black because I think that would probably look good. And are we, yeah, we're unthreaded again. So, um, sorry about that. Oh, I got to put everything up. Okay. You just haven't realized McDreamy. Now you didn't get wet. Don saved you too. So stop being silly. Do you think I told him? Do you think he'll listen? Yes. So there's something going on with McDreamy. We'll figure it out. It, it could also be down to the humidity here because... Um, wow. <laughs> we have some humidity going on. Humidity changes the a little bit of how the thread acts. So it could be. We could chalk it up to that if he smartens up. We're getting better. It's down to yeah. Oh, see, I like the black for the contrast. And yeah, I did do a good job of trimming it. Thank you, Isabel and the Norseman. Thank you very much. Oh, the Norseman. Oh, I love the stickers. Hey, that monster on, or whatever it is. What is it, a fish or something? Oh, it's a hippo. Oh, from a distance, it looked like a monster with a big nose. Never mind. I was going to say he kind of looks like it. So, I guess if you trim in a little closer, it might be better. A couple spots. But you know what? Monsters are not perfect. So, who cares, right? I think it's be cute yeah, I think so too. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be. I kind of like how the white shows up on the outside. So, you know, happy accident, of course. Nisha says it should be viewer. Bjorn, yeah. All right, so this is Bjorn. Very nice. And he's going to be sitting at my desk watching the Norsemen from now on. How's that? So the gremlins stay away. The Norsemen's laughing. Well, you know, it is what it is. We gotta gremlin protect ourselves. Thank you, Marsha. Oh, thank you. Marsha, oh, we appreciate it. Every little bit helps you guys, helps us get fabric, better cameras, although I think we're finally good on that, and just little stuff to experiment with. It keeps the channel going, so we appreciate it. So, Bjorn, uh, we're going to have to put his name on it, uh, I think, because that's a good name. I think that's great. Maybe I should sit the beard monster on Ragnar. Maybe that might work. See, I do like how it's holding in. That one is perfect. The white shows outside the black outline. I think that really looks good. 
it's a motif stitch. Um, I think that really looks cool, actually. Happy accidents, man. Happy accidents. So, that goes to show you, if you can't cut it perfectly on the line, it's still gonna look awesome. I quite like it. Does it show up what I'm talking about, Don? Maybe not as much. Well, come here and look, and then you can see what I'm talking about. It's kind of cool how it worked out. Do you see? Oh, yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it looks good. So, happy accident. I can see one point that won't go in, but... Cuties. He has a name on ribbon with your machine. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Yes, and he can wear it as a tie. Um, yeah, possibilities are endless with that, uh, toy. It's not a toy, but, you know, great idea. That's thinking out of the box. See how much a, a ribbon printer, um, can add to it instead of embroidering it? You Just imagine, like, a baby gift with the baby's name and birth on it and you know, whatever you do for that. I think that's cool. I, I could just think of a gazillion uses for it, and I thought even for the pictures that we do, you know, of a finished product or whatever, I, I'm thinking a ribbon that says in gold, OML embroidery, I think that would be so cool. Lila, hi Lila. One up, yeah. Thank you very much, Lila, we appreciate it. You rock, awesome. So hopefully you guys will come up with some really groovy guys. Um, I'm going to use the hot pink um, because I think it would simply look really cool. So let's change it up because he has more decorations on his eyes. There's a couple of, couple of rings. So this one and yeah, I think I'll save the green for the mouth because that would look kind of weird and I like weird and I think monsters can be weird so let's get them threaded up whoops reaching around the camera did I see Lynn in the chat our Lynn yeah she loves watching and mom's watching too oh hi mom and hi Lynn so let's and thank you Elaine Thank you, Elaine Chapman. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. How many people do we have watching? Uh, oh. I wonder if anyone else has had some flooding. I like it when it's up at 300. Our world record is 500. So hopefully we can do that again. Ooh, look at this color. Isn't that a heck of a color? Woo! I like it neon pink because of course monsters have to have neon pink eyes i mean seriously i think it's awesome that just adds to the weirdness of it and i like it so i think we're gonna have fun making monsters and making different stuffies we can get uh with this way of doing it we can get quite clever about it i think i think we could do an amazing job I can think glow of glow in the dark eyes. Yep. Yeah. I've heard it so many ways. Hopefully, you got it right. I know it's hard. That's Leah. I've actually heard it spelled, seen it spelled that way in the most Leah. I guess we never know. No. However, if I was named Leah, y'all would be calling me princess. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Did you see Blueprint is coming back? Yeah, we're all pretty happy about that. Um, I haven't been paying much attention, but I did get, um, I did get the, the note about it. We have had no flooding here. We haven't had rain for a month. Well, we had a storm warning and it rained for about 10 minutes in the afternoon and we're like oh yeah big storm thank you weatherman um but it was at like 2 30 at night we heard the thunder um you know at about midnight and then it was like a downpour 
I've lived in this house for 10, 11 years, and I've never seen rain like that. Like, the rain hasn't come in from the outside on this level, ever, ever. So, it was quite something. Well, I like how this is puffing up a little bit. I think that's cool. So maybe it'll look like his eyes are bugging out. Lee's Grandly, thank you very much. We appreciate it. All the support. If you guys don't have enough money to donate, that's perfectly fine. There's other ways that you can help out for free that, you know, keeps the channel going. We need feedback and stuff. And all you have to do is like the video share it in a group or on your own timeline youtube pays attention to that and uh comment with a smiley face once the video is done and that is super helpful the more people who watch the videos um the better the more i get paid now mind you it's not very much but we're, you know we're gonna give it time and work through it so we appreciate all of that every little bit counts um and that's why i put my heart and soul into all of this and do as much as i can because it's um it's helpful and uh you know we're working towards the goal of a hundred thousand subs so anything you can do to help that is helpful absolutely helpful if everybody shared and got one person to subscribe, we'd rock. We'd just, rock just it out. Just think all the people we'd have doing, doing embroidery the proper way. Yeah, oh, wouldn't that be nice? Less frustrated. That was m one of my goals, is to have happier embroiderers. Just simply that, happier embroiderers. Um, which is cool. So that's oh, the I goal. Awesome I kind of like them. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the white dot in the middle, but it's entirely possible. I want to see how it looks. Well, that does look good with the black. I don't know if I want a sparkle in his eye because maybe he should be a little more evil. Evil. He's got, his eye on Norseman. He's got all of his eyes on Norseman. <laughs> I can. No. And I will. Karina said I could. Chris Yost. Hi, Chris. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Donations and views is what keeps us going. So, grow. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I can't really see it. Joan Fan. My iPad's a little far away from me. Thank you very much, you guys. So appreciated. So it kind of looks weird with just eyeballs on a pink background, but I like it. So I think I'm going to pass on the white, which is the next step. But I think I'm going to be really weird because um, um, Buren is a weird guy. Uh, and I think I will make it pink. Why not? Nobody says he has to have normal eyes. What do you think, Don? Pink? Mm, you're going to make it pink. Hmm. Just sure. the dot in the center. Yep. It's either, it matches his body. Yeah. It's the hot pink. So like it matches... It's uh, It matches the rest of yeah. the eyeballs. So, yeah. I thought it would be cool. Just different. If I don't like it, then I will simply do another one. Neon green, I like the eye. <laughs> well, I was thinking about the neon green, but I, who these colors are pretty crazy. Uh, I could also stop the machine and do them all differently. Let's see how that looks once uh, McDreamy moves. It's getting a little bit. <laughs> okay, that looks scary. <laughs> that looks scary. Okay. I like it though. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I kind of like that. So, a happy accident. Those also make me happy with how I was able to trim it. That's awesome. 
Have missed so many weeks live. Happy to catch you today. Well, we're happy too. Uh, rainy, dreary Saturday morning here. Glad to be with friends. Yes, we have a rainy, dreary day as well. And I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Oh, it's mouth time. So we're going to have to get rid of this pink. And we're going to have to do something better. So I'm just going to cut a smaller piece, because that's quite small, of my leftover white. It's hard to see, but I see no chicken today. No chicken. No chicken? No chicken. Um, and I think I'll stitch it down here, because I think it might have... The effect that I'm looking for so I'm just stitching it down in the hot pink um, I know it'll show and I think it'll look good if it shows I think I'll use the P touch because I think that's awesome and those are teeth so okay we need to trim this first so Don can we go back to the desk desk is up so yeah so far so good yeah i think i'm gonna give him a ribbon around his neck and he is um bjorn the norseman watcher that is his official name like ivar the boneless bjorn 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 ironside, ironside. yeah well he's not ironside he's kind of Soft. <laughs> He's just the Norseman Watcher. Yeah, the Norseman Watcher. That's his uh, title. There we go. So just carefully trim it. I love the hot pink. It is quite spectacular. So I think that looks beautiful, the stitching around it. So I'm going to leave a bit. Here's the next color we're introducing. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is bright green. Isn't that a bright green? And he is going to have green teeth because I can. So um, let's go back to the machine and uh, we'll do his teeth. All right, machine is up. Thank you. McDreamy. No damage to McDreamy. We're so thankful. I worried about my very expensive computer that enables us to do these lives and edit and then McDreamy as well. But McDreamy's on a desk, so the computer's up off the floor, so it's good. Yeah, we're not too worried. I keep I keep everything neat. Neat and tidy. I'm having a little gr oh no, a little green thread issues. Okay. It was just wrapped around a couple of times. You know how you keep the ends tucked down? It was wrapped around a couple times. So I couldn't get it, but I got it now. Thread, thread, thread. I'm going to have to use Ragnar, the machine, a little bit because I'm tired of threading the single needle. It's, it's not that it's a huge problem, but thread after thread. Okay. Whew. I almost wish I had more of these threads. I think these ones are from Madeira. You know what else would be cool would be variegated thread. So, my neon monster. You know what else would be cool if you had neon fleece? I think that would be really awesome. Look at that green. Oh my goodness. How much fun is this though? I like it. Something different. I'm trying to, you know, introduce you guys to new techniques and different ways of doing things. And there's a lot out there still. We've got a ton of things to learn yet. Welcome, Debbie Babcock. So it's your first time watching, being, enjoying the Ember digitizing. Awesome. Thank you for watching. And of course, welcome. Um, we do lots of lives. And we have a live stitch along tomorrow. And we have digitizing. So it's called Sunset with Sue Digitizing. And we're working on our garden. So what we're doing for that series is we are digitizing, but we're digitizing with shapes, not clip art. So 
is pretty cool and uh, you can do it with any software and it's a lot of fun and we're making fantastic things and it's it's a ton of fun okay so we're left with decorative stitches around his mouth which I'm also gonna do in green because you know he's got to be bright and scary oh awesome Oh, it's going up into his teeth. That should look good. That would also look good in a different color as well. I'm fond of the green. There's, um, yeah. There, you have to be careful with neon colors and use them sparingly. But I really think this is an appropriate place for it. So, it's true. I wanted, I left the bright pink in because I wanted some of it to show through. And I knew the stitches around the mouth were like these, so um, it would show through, and it does. And that is just another, you know, cool aspect to it. Awesome. Linda Molden says he's going to need to brush his teeth. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know if monsters brush their teeth. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of Mike and Sully. Sure they do. Well, Sully does. I don't know if Mike did. Yes, I'm a big kid, and Mike and Sully are my favorite monsters ever. Ever. I don't know. I think Bjorn's my favorite now. Well, maybe. All right, so believe it or not, we are on the last step, and I'm just going to pop this out. So on the... Oh, it looks great. So on this step, we're going to take the fleece... And we want to put it the pretty side or the nice side. It looks pretty much the same to me. Facing down. Facing down. That's the important part. So if you are using fabric with a pattern, you should be looking at the wrong side. That's what we want because we're going to turn this um, eventually. And don't worry, we'll go over all of the details on how to do that. Didn't we cut? Oh my, that's why I was having troubles. Didn't trim. Okay, now this should be a whole lot easier. It didn't trim, so it was dragging the thread, and I'm not used to that. So, it took me a minute. All right, so no fabric chicken. It's kind of thick, but I know McDreamy can do it. And put it back on. Don't forget to flip your switch there. And... Let's do the final parts of our guy, of our scary monster guy. And it's going to leave an opening so we can turn it. Yep. Some nice back stitches to hold it really well. Beautiful. Don't stick your fingers in there. I know I do it, but don't. Don't do what I do. He's got a cool shape, too. I like it. So remember, you can't really tell with this fabric. Remember, this should be the ugly side, the back side. So when we turn it, it's all nice on the back and nice on the front. So before you put the back on, if you wanted to add any other decoration to him, you can do that. That would be the point before this goes on. And, you know, what I would do is, um, because we didn't have any sense of the outline, I would have skipped to the end, did this part first, did the eyeballs and the mouths, and then add in your writing, and then do this part again, if that makes any sense. So we can see the outline of Bjorn, and you, you know where how much space you have to work with. Um, it wouldn't even matter that this part isn't stitched, but that's what I would do. This guy's a little bit bigger than I thought he would be. Um, I really like him. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, we are done with this guy. Uh, back to the desk, Don. Desk is up. Okay, his shape is so cute.
just even like that as the outline. So hopefully you guys understood what I was saying if you wanted to add extra to him. So first we're going to pop him out of the hoop. And even the back looks pretty good. I mean, there wasn't a ton of stitching, but he's adorable. And we're going to carefully tear away the backing. Now, because this is just like a single stitch, the way to do this without damage is to hold it down. Um, a lot of people just rip and you can mess up the stitches doing that. So I hold it down so none of that happens. It's just, you know, it's one of those things. It really, really sucks when you're on the last step and you mess it up. And I have a little bit of spray on it so it's harder, but you don't have to get much better than that. We are going to do the inside too. So the idea is to carefully take off as much as the tear, much of the tear away as you can, which would be a little bit easier without the spray. But hey, I'll use my nails. That'll work. Again, holding, holding down everything so that see that almost did pull it out whoo you have to be a little careful not you know completely don't spend hours doing it but you can see how i'm doing it and use this technique every single time you use a uh, tear away it's just you know a make sure a safety thing so I've got most of it around the outside and you know, if you want to spend a lot of time on it, you can. I think getting rid of most of the tearaway is going to make the toy that much softer. And I think for my next one that I will uh, stitch the last stitch first because this stuff would be easier to take off. But it's coming. Just hold those stitches down, man. Hold them down. So I'm not going to worry about little pieces like that. But he's looking good, don't you think? What do you think, Don? I think he's looking awesome. It's a little, it's a little fussy because I put spray, temporary spray adhesive on. That seems to work better. On the fleece and then on the, on the paper so it's really sticky it wasn't gonna go anywhere so that's you know a nice thing to know okay so make sure you hold it down it's just kind of fancy paper so he's cute yeah see i don't know if you guys saw how much that one right there moved so i'm gonna hold it down um you can take tweezers and pick these out if you want i'm not going to because i want to show you guys the rest of how to do it so, a hmm, little tedious. If I was making a whole, um, b what's, what's the word for a group? You know how they have a funny word for a group? A gaggle of geese? What, what is it for monsters? A minion of monsters. No. A horde? A horde of monsters. A horde, or is that only for zombies? I don't know. Could good, be monsters. Good questions in my day. Well, if I was making a whole bunch of them, I would save this part to the end of the day and sit in front of the TV and do it. Because it's, well, it's not terrible, but it's not tedious. Now, of course, when you get up to his, you know, face details. Oh, uh, Misha says a murder of monsters? I, it's a murder of crow. It could be murder of monsters, too. It, well, it would generally. Or an army of monsters. Is that stereotyping monsters, though, that they're all bad? I would like to point out, too, by the way, since we named this guy Bjorn, he didn't slip any threads. Did you guys uh, notice that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mark says afraid of monsters. Oh, yeah. That's probably cool. So if you're making a whole bunch, um, save this part to last. Now, you can remove this around the eyes but you don't have to go inside the eyes I would leave that's too fiddly so just outside the eyes and outside the mouth now I'm gonna call it because I don't wanna you guys don't need to sit and watch me pick stabilizer 
So here is another really good trick. Norseman says it's a family of monsters like OML. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Now we're going to cut it out, but I want to be careful to leave um, a long piece here. It makes the turning so much easier. Not that long, but you know, uh, I'll show you guys a little bit more. Not the turning, the sewing. So we want to leave a little bit of an edge here. So a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I got my big scissors out, my big sharp ones to do this. Move up a little bit. Sorry. I um, wouldn't use um, my applique scissors because I've got two layers of fleece going on. So try to, it's a little bit awkward actually, but try to, you know, give yourself a nice border. And we're going to clip some of the corners so when we fold them out, he should be beautiful or ugly, depending on how you look at it. So, yeah, sorry I was off screen a little bit. We moved our camera ever so slightly, so I am not quite used to it. There. Not quite. So easy to cut out. Like You don't want to go all the way into the corner. You can a little bit. This will be one that will clip down the inside ones very carefully. And I'm going to explain the reason for the longer part at the hole, at the hole at the bottom of the monster. Um, I'll explain that momentarily, but it just makes it so much easier. Because you do have to turn them, stuff them, and sew them up. So a little bit of hand sewing. Just a little. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit. It only has to be like that. So this is basically what it looks like. Now you he's can... Beautiful. Yeah, he's kind of cute. This is his insides, though. You can clip the pieces, the corners, the circles. Don't go over the line. It just makes it prettier when you turn it. So let's turn it now. And I'll show you guys how to stuff it and sew it up. What a great little project. I'm, I'm so excited about this guy. He would be cute anywhere. Put him in a cupboard so when someone opens the cupboard they see the monster. I think that would be fun. So some people have turning things that makes this part a little less fiddly. I think I have a purple thing somewhere but I somewhere. don't yeah, I don't really like it. It's a bit thin for my liking, to be honest with you. So I don't use it a whole lot. I prefer to use my nails or carefully a pair of scissors that aren't sharp. See, you got nice, this? nice curves. What is it? A, a pen? Your Apple Pencil. <laughs> no, I am not going to use my Apple <laughs> Pencil to turn Bjorn the monster. Well, it's not sharp. <laughs> yes, but I, I'm pretty sure I can come up with something better. Hi, it looks funny that way. <laughs> A bone folder. Yes, something like that. I don't need it, though, because my nails are pretty strong, so I just use my nails. So, take your time. And if you find something, you know, that's supposed to be circle that looks like a square, then you can just fold it back. So look at our little guy. So what I use this tab for at the bottom is when you sew it together, you tuck these guys in and you get a really, really nice seam that way. And it's just that easy to do it. You don't have to struggle with getting the pieces in properly. Um, you can do it just fine like that. So isn't that cute? Even with two layers of fleece, the guy is gorgeous. So I'm just puffing out his arms a little bit there. A little bit there. Stuff his guts in there. Well, I have a little, I don't have a whole lot of monster guts, but I have some. 
you can you can buy this stuff it's not it's not that expensive polyfill or whatever and we're gonna just stuff it as full as you want I think this is a cute idea I think we should make more of these Odie our little weenie guy yeah, you love that. his favorite toy in the world was a fleece eyeball yep an oh, eyeball. I remember the eyeball and then he defluffed we call it um, murder he, he defluffed the eyeball and he played with the carcass so the outside he loved his eyeball. It was so hilarious. He's that such may still be floating around somewhere. I, I think I actually threw it out, Don, because oh. it was like dirty and, <laughs> and gross. And, gross <laughs> and it was just like the outside. I'm like, dude, with better toys in here? Come on. But he's funny. So I'm thinking... Uh, like an eyeball would be cool. Don, says, Don Gilchrist says it's good Christmas presents for little ones. Do you think? Yeah, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Especially if you... We've got lots of uh, real estate right here to write something. Maggie Knight says I'm going to make one for my cat and put a little catnip in it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Why not? Someone in the group said that they have a whole bunch of squeakers. You can buy squeakers. They're just pieces of yeah. plastic. Oh, my goodness. How cute is that? So then all you have to do, this is where you'll be really thankful, <laughs> really, really thankful that you have these tabs because this is all you have to do. Just tuck it in and make sure it's even. Then you just do a little... Um, whip stitch so or, or ladder stitch whichever kind of stitch you know and you know it would be take matching thread and a needle I'm just kind of rearranging it in there so it's flat and you basically just sew back and forth on kind of the inside so you're not doing it through like this because that would leave a mark and it would leave it like this um, so you could see it, but kind of in the inside of the line, back and forth this way, not that way, this that way. It requires hand stitching. I don't know if I do that. Um, it is like an inch or so, a little more than an inch. So once you do that, you could, um, you could also be a cheater. I've done this many times and just put a little fabric glue there, give it a little squeeze and you're done so he's awesome i am liking this guy oh we got lots of real estate on the back too you just have to embroider it separately it's nice and soft and cute as a button so meet bjorn the um the the watcher oh that's even better just the watcher and again i will point out that once we named him mcdreamy didn't drop any threads so he is a good gremlin uh, watcher. So I really like this. And uh, let me know in the comments when the video is done. If you guys want to do more monster stuffies. Um, I think this is incredible that we can do this on our embroidery machine. And uh, I think he's pretty cute. I'm going to sew this guy up and I'm going to give him to Odie. And um, um, we will... Uh, I'll put up a picture. I oh. do like how the pink shows. Oh, Odie will like it because it's pink. Yeah, he's kind of a strange fellow. So, um, I think we should do more of these. I'd love to create some and, uh, you know, give them away, give them to you guys for fun. It would be cute to make for the children's hospital. Yep. Yep. We could make a, um, oh, a ton of different things. I could think of different things. So, wow, I love this guy. Um, Bjorn the Watcher is going to be watching you, Norseman. He's got his eye on you <laughs> and all those gremlins you create. So he's right there. Oh, it's a little too close. Sorry. It's right there, you know, like this, watching you. Oh, he's got three. Wait, watching you, watching you. <laughs>
so we get, we're going to keep the gremlins away. So, wow, so I hope you guys... for the Saturday. Yeah, something completely different. That's what I thought. Um, so, so no gremlins. We got you covered. He's going to... I'm not giving it to Odie. He's going to sit on my desk to watch the Norseman every Saturday and other days that he's here. That's what I'm going to do. But I will make the ribbon from him and call him Bjorn the Watcher. And uh, I think that'll be really cute. So, get stitching, my friends. We love you guys. Thanks for joining us. We're going to go and uh, dry out for the rest of the day and clean up <laughs> a little bit more. The kids are going to help. So, uh, don't forget to join us tomorrow. And, um, yeah, make your own beer. And these guys are cute. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is tomorrow. Share, like, and tell everyone you can. Bye, everyone. Bye.